Hello folks, this is old Bubba back with you today, the Jewish Redneck Prepper. Today I got another wild edible I'd like to show you, and it's called the Wild Onion. They grow plentiful here in Georgia, state of Georgia. As a matter of fact, they grow all over the whole state. And this is wild edible that's plentiful in most people's lawns. If most people know about it, they don't care about it. They try to buy onions in the store, and they got plenty of food right out here at their feet. These wild onions here, the whole plant is edible, folks. That's right, folks. The whole edible plant, from the bulb all the way up to the green part. Now, I've been in different areas of Georgia where this. This wild onion will grow two to three times this uh, size as long as it's left alone and it's able to do its own thing. The bugs can get around an inch, an inch and a half round circumference. And that's a good size onion for a wild onion. These onions like this usually grow in clusters. And uh, they're very nutritious. They're, uh, they can be used as a seasoning. They can be used as a trail snack. They can be used in stews. They can be used in soup. Or you can just take them. You know, like grilling or barbecuing out. You can just take them and grill them out on the grill. See if I can pull some up. Here, folks. Put this down on the ground. Here's one example what I'm talking about. This is a good little onion. It's pretty good little size. Now, let me explain to you something about this particular onion. This whole onion, from the green tip down to the bottom, as I say, the roots of it I would cut off, but this whole onion is edible. It uh, can be used for medicinal purposes because it is a natural antibiotic. That's right, folks. It's a natural bi antibiotic. Um, it's in the garlic family. So if you're ever going out hunting this uh, wild edible, if you pull it, sniff it. If it does not have that onion or garlic smell, leave it alone. Because, folks, there's plenty lookalikes out there that'll fool you all garlic type plants whether it's wild onion whether it's well, what they call leeks which they're they grow in Georgia too or wild garlic and there's a couple of other species here in Georgia all have that same onion garlic smell and some of them are a little bit more stringent than others the more this onion grows out here in the field, the more it spreads out, the more the smell of this onion will get. Well, folks, I'm going to taste this onion here. Mm -hmm. Get a real flavor of the bug. Let's say it's been eaten. Get that juice out of it, throw the green away. Get a little nutrition, a little snack out of it. I'll show you some more wild plants. More of them growing out here. You can take these onions. And this is free groceries, folks. Just put, all it does is just take the time to come pull them. You can take these onions and dehydrate them. Put them in jars or put them in mylar bags with a oxygen absorber have onions all year round and most people probably wouldn't mind you pulling them pulling them up in your their yard you're helping them keep the lawn mowed and clean okay folks well this is old bubble the jewish redneck prepper if you enjoyed this video how about hit the like button down below leave a comment and subscribe to the Jewish Redneck Prepper if you're not one of my subscribers. 
Well, folks, until the next time, this is old Bubba saying get out and enjoy the, what life has to offer. You want to learn how to forage? There's plenty of books on foraging at Barnes and Nobles and Books a Million and other online bookstores and such. Uh, there's plenty of YouTube videos out there of good people that knows how to forage and stuff. Um, get with other people in your area. Find out other people that forage and go out and take some classes. There's a lot of people that do classes on wild edibles. Well, folks, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Obama signing off, saying, enjoy the journey. Shalom.